So was Doctor Strange too white to be in WandaVision? That's what it looks like anyway. Hello everyone, I am Mecca, Mecca Random 42. Subscribe to the channel. We have a promotion going on this week for 10% off on the Teespring store. We got all the cool t-shirts. You know, you can you can drop your taco. Drop the taco. Get in the car. Not you. That's the meme. The meme. You can get it in every color. You can get it up to 5XL. You can get women's t-shirts, tank tops, all the stuff. You can get the crop circle one. The crop circle one's amazing. If you guys like the crop circle meme, which we will meme to all eternity. What are they? That is the crop circle meme. And it's about aliens because we would rather be talking about the aliens than, you know, the other weird stuff. But it's a Cumberbatch. Speaking of aliens, he's not an alien, is he? Rolling Stone magazine, also not an alien. How Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange almost appeared in WandaVision. So, so I skimmed through this article because The Quartering tweeted something out about what Kevin Feige said. So shout out to The Quartering. I didn't mean to boop boop my intro again, but we're going to do it anyway because we're boop booping the intro. Use code SPRING for 10% off a Teespring now, now that you've done that. And I appreciate it because we're using that money to go to Star Trek Las Vegas. And tr I mean, I mean, have fun out in Vegas and do the fan meetups. Join us there. Join us there. Now that I've plugged everything. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige explains why a planned Doctor Strange appearance would have taken away from Wanda. Well, first off, it would have been, you know, what I wanted. You know, the show to kind of make sense and not just do the whole, hey, and we're... Hey, do you remember we are in a 50s sitcom and now we're in a 60s one and now we're in the 70s. Oh, now it's the 80s. Now it's the 90s. Don't care. Don't care. The whole point of WandaVision was she held an entire town hostage and got away with it. I did dip out in the end because I got tired of watching the same thing over and over and over again where they, they just, what, drip drop, spoon, spoon feed little tidbits of information. This explains why I probably didn't like it. And it wasn't just for Benedict Cumberbatch not being in it. No, no, no. They, they're, they're saying in this article, and we can read through this, but I'm going to sum up. He was supposed to be sending Wanda little messages in the TV commercials, which is what I thought initially. That's what it seemed like. And that's what I was picking up on. And the fact that they changed it. Would not have taken away, I don't think, from the... I think I think it would have kept people like me more interested. But I really, really dipped even even before the whole Gina Carano firing over at Disney because the show was boring. It was taking too long to get anywhere. Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige reveals in Rolling Stone's upcoming extensive oral history on WandaVision. He said oral. Stuck a, struck a deal with Benedict Cumberbatch. See, now I'm thinking of other things. Now I'm thinking of other things. To appear in the final episode of the show as Doctor Strange. But late in the process, they wrote him out. Some people might say, oh, it would have been so cool to see Doctor Strange, says Feige. But it would have taken away from Wanda, which is what we didn't want to do. We didn't want the end of the show to be commodi commoditized to go to the next movie. Slash dash, here's the white guy. Let me show you how power works. Uh-huh. That meant the Doctor Strange movie, too, had to be rewritten. This is what I'm more concerned for. So they would have made sense. And, and you know what? We were fine with that, where you're like, okay, we're going to go from this one to this one. It would have been a journey. It would have kept us coming back, much like comic books did in the first place. And, you know, I don't really, I don't really like being forced to have to see every single little piece of entertainment. But when it's something like this, where you've got all the same main stars and it's from thing to thing, it's not like having to buy a comic book that's DLC, in my opinion, of, of a TV show to like, like with the Star Wars shit, when they're going back and saying, oh, you've got to buy a comic book just to get the explanation because we didn't bother to put it in the movie because we changed the story. No, if you're supposed to have these all planned out and laid out, I don't mind taking a journey with you from the movies over to the TV series, over to any of this stuff. Stuff, if it's going to be good, entertaining, and make fucking sense, because that's the one thing I was looking forward to with the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4 was the Doctor Strange movie. We got Sam fucking Raimi coming back into, into comic book movies, but now he's a good movie director anyway with his horror stuff. Everybody knows me. This, this shit, when you go and say, oh, no, 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 it would have been what? Too good? It would have made sense? You, what? 
we get it. It was the Wanda TV show. That was one of the problems that we had with it anyway, at least that I had. You've got all these stupid side <laughs> characters, and I'm not saying the side characters are stupid. People are going to be mad at me. You have all the little side characters, right, coming in, and, and, and they're trying to make them the big main focus when they're not. Let them be the little side character in the TV show with the payoff of Dr. Sh was this what they were saying? Oh, we're going to have a Luke Skywalker level cameo. Luke Skywalker level mom. It would have been Doctor Strange. It would have been. Go Why didn't you do that? The only reason that some of us are sitting there watching this is because it's going to connect to the other stuff. That's the only reason Cap Marvel made a billion dollars. I'm dropping too many f bombs, and now they're going to demonetize me for a rage bait article BS. I just don't. I and 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 why? Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. I got to pick on in this article. Why are you dropping the W word? Why are we dropping the white guy bomb? Here's the white guy. Why Why do you do this? Because, because what? Are the wokier than thou's going to pounce and say, good, we didn't want a white dude being our thing on our show anyway, re. Is that what you were doing? You were caving to the little wokier than thou's? You were caving to these, these religious zealots who don't want to see old white dudes in their shows because re and zuns? That's what it feels like. And I get really tired of seeing this stuff because, because with some, somebody like me, you know, when, when I like, I like having the scientific ex, uh, explanations of a lot of these superheroes, I like having a, a good logical leap that I can go to. Excellent. He's somebody I can believe having these superpowers. You get Captain Marvel. What does she do? She stands in front of an exploding plane like a dumbass, right? And she gets superpowers accidentally because for some reason that they don't explain scientifically, the the what magic power that's in the stone all right so so you can explain it away like dr strange was already a smart person he was the top of his line uh, pr medically from what i remember i'm not an expert i'm not an expert but he's one like oh okay i can kind of go on his journey and then he taps into all the more metaphysical stuff which i can kind of relate to in in some ways because i spent a couple years on a paranormal podcast where you're we talking about some of that stuff the new age paranormal ufo sort of stuff hence the crop circle meme by the way what are they why are they what do they mean so so i like the the weird unexplainable stuff where you can kind of go in and tap into this in these super high science-y levels where where some people can't it's hard to get into and i know I'm, I'm rambling anywho anywho to to what to use this wording to call him out for being a quote white guy to use this you're you're just baiting people into into pouncing on that first off and you're you're what you're trying to take away from the fact that he is a better character though he is he is a more powerful Hey, the flaming lips are coming to, to, I don't care. I don't care. I accidentally clicked it and I didn't mean to. It's kind of Marvel's fault for making it so that Dr. Strange was a more interesting character anyway. I don't know. I'm tired of, I'm tired of humans. I'm tired of humans. Can I just go back to the crop circles and wait for the aliens to land? Because that's really the whole point of life, isn't it? It's just waiting for the aliens to get here so we don't have to put up with the crap. So no, it, it it probably would have taken away from Wanda. It probably would have. Because you didn't do a good enough job setting her up as a good character anyway. You really kind of left her off as a... Oh, and she's a Disney princess because she has to have her prince. Yeah, he's a walking vibrator, but you know, he's the prince. Sure, whatever. Good on you. Good on you, Disney, for, for taking away a character that, I mean, I probably could have found a lot more interesting if she wasn't just the chick who got the guy. For the most part, she didn't really seem to have, maybe that's on me. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Why am I rambling? We're rambling. I'm going back to my live chat. I'm tired of this article. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Please, Spock, do me a favor. And don't say it's fascinating.